Woo. Wobbly up here. Hey, it's TR back with another truck camper restoration video. Today we're gonna play some solar panel Tetris. I've already laid this out once, but I'm just kind of laying this out again in my mind. I'm pretty sure I can get two up here. I want, I need some room between them obviously to be able to work on stuff. So two fits there, or I could go with one. Then I can go one here, one here. That'll work. Actually, I could go like here. Yeah, I like that. So there, and then here, slide this over. And then here's the corner of this one. And then we bring this one down here. I like it. We do four. Okay. So four, and then five. And we got lots of roof real estate left. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox all these solar panels, get the brown, uh, blah, get the mounting brackets on them, clean the pad spots where these are gonna go, and I'm gonna use VHB to hold them down. It should be fine. I'm getting these solar panels ready to mount. I bought Z brackets. When I did my Class A solar, I built the brackets. I just cut them out of angled aluminum. And honestly, they work just fine. And I thought about doing that for this, but I had time to order the brackets. These things are really simple to go on. Nut and bolt, they're metric. So right here is my solar prep, and I think it's gonna work out okay. I do have some extra cable in case I need to make some, you know, extension cables and stuff like that. It's gonna be hot. I'm gonna get some sunscreen on, and I'll be back. It got so freaking hot up here yesterday, but I got all the panels installed. Use this BHP tape 3M. Uh, let's see. They ain't coming off. They're in good shape. I'm gonna finish up the wiring, but I can today. So I've got this, these two combiners. So I'm gonna put those in right here. Negative and negative combines those two. And then this one, positive and positive, combines those two, and then pound. 
I'm gonna tie these grounds together. Okay, now over here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go dunk, dunk. Then I'll make a short extension to go from here to here. Got one more here. The cables are hanging right there. I had ordered some parts to finish this up. I need a couple little jumper cables, which I'm going to make. I've got the parts for that. And then I need one more of these Ys. What'll happen is there'll be a jumper from here. They'll come over here and join up with these three. And then from here, we'll come down here. We'll join the line from here and here together with a Y and then we'll jump into that. But you'll have to wait till tomorrow for that to happen. So we'll catch you later. Okay, it's a new day. I got parts and pieces here. I bought this 20 foot cable uh, to uh, do the patch cables out of that I need to finish up this uh, solar. This is going to be a parallel string. So in other words, all the positives from the panels are gonna be connected together. All the negatives from the panels are gonna be connected together. Now remember when you're doing parallel, the voltage is constant, but the current is additive. So if each panel puts out 5 amps, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 amps, is about what you can expect. I don't remember the exact output on these, but it's pretty close to 5 amps. So what I'm going to do right now is just, I'm just going to build some patch cables. I bought these because they work, you know, they've already got an end attached. Okay, we'll use the red for positive. It's already gonna be hot out here. It's only 8 a.m. But man, it's gonna be a scorcher two days. That's why I'm getting an early start on this. I'm gonna use this existing end, positive here. So I'm gonna move him over to where I'm gonna try to tie, I'm gonna tie this up probably to those feet. Keep it from flopping around. And we'll come in here. And so that should be about right, about right there. These connectors are called MC4 connectors. They're just solar. They're specific to solar installs. And then we terminate an end on there, which is right here. I got a special tool for it. And here's a trick when you're cutting insulation like this and you're trying to not cut the wire. Score it, then bend it, and look and see where it's still attached. And that way you can, it has an inner conductor on it. Let me see if I can remember which one's which. This one? This one? Yeah, that could be So this is complete now. This is the feed to the basement, 500 watts of Renogy 100 watt panels. As you can see, I got plenty of room on the roof for more solar if I want it. And that's a really good thing. So I'm happy with that. Now I'm gonna get the ground and then I'm gonna put these cables in some room and get them tied up so they're nice and neat and not flopping around in the wind as we go down the road. Okay, one last thing to do here on the solar. I've got myself some Red Wolf Automotive Electrical Loom Tape. The main reason I'm doing this is I'm positive this loom is not gonna be UV resistant. This stuff is. And we're gonna get a shit ton of UV up here. Everything that's exposed is gonna get wrapped. Okay, hey, uh, got off this roof and out of the sun for a few minutes, I've cooled off. I'm gonna come over here and I'll show you the inside here. Here's the feed off the roof. I've got this meter clamped on it. I don't know, let's see, it looked like it turned itself off. Let's see, let's get it back on here. Let's get it set to DC. Yeah, 
it is showing 19.9 amps we'll go in here and check the inside and see how this one's doing what this says all right 13.6 volts 20 amps 273 watts and I'm at 81 percent I keep wanting to say I'm done with the electrical but I have a couple minor little things to do I'm going to do those off camera I've got one more wire to hook up for the tank level monitor and for the fire that I for the fan hood and the light under this I'll get it out I got one more wire to hook up one more power wire I should say that will power up the tank level indicator and the uh, vent and light for the range. I still got to get my Wii Boost put in. That's on the schedule. Got an articulating arm for a TV that I'm going to install. I'm waiting on that till I decide on the TV. I actually have one that I think I'm going to use. I don't know if it's a smart TV and I don't really want to have to run like a Google Chromecast or a Amazon Fire Stick. I guess I could. It's not my first choice. Then really what's left is just the inside trim, uh, some touch-up paint. Uh, the outside I've got a few pieces of trim still to put on. We just came through a really intense rainstorm. We got a half of an inch of rain in 15 minutes here at my house. But we got the solar installed. I thought I'd give you a real quick tour and show you the rest of the solar. Here's the electrical compartment. So that circuit breaker there is a 30 amp, protects the solar, which feeds over here to the DC to DC charge controller. This is a 50 amp charge controller. It also has the ability to, I'll be able to alternator charge from the vehicle. This line comes from the alternator on the vehicle, or it will. So that finishes up the solar. If you found value in this video, give me that thumbs up. I always appreciate those. If you're not subscribed, do subscribe, ring the notification bell. Still a few construction videos to go, then I'm gonna be out camping and fishing and having a good time with it. I'm looking forward to that, you should as well. But that'll have to do it, it's time to go. Thanks for watching, I do appreciate it. Till we get together for the next truck camper restoration video, peace.